So as a long distance runner you probably think, the more hours on your feet, the more fun and the better you train your aerobic capacity, also in the long run. Let this guy in the video say whatever he thinks about the long run. Well, to answer the title of this video directly. In my opinion, the long run should be a maximum of two and a half hours. And in this video, I'm going to explain you why. Good to add to this, it also depends on your experience level and your goals, of course. However, good to set some boundaries for the long run. I hope I can convince some people to stay at least 30 minutes longer in bed on a Sunday and gain similar or better training effects than before. Let's take you along my long run that I performed last weekend. Rise and shine baby, rise and shine. Good morning, I'm going out for my uh, long run uh, this morning and I will uh, run around 2 hours, uh, around 30 kilometers with some moderate tempos uh, in there as well. Uh, so a very typical uh, long run around uh, 2 hours and I'll perform it here in uh, the in the park, Turia, and uh, heading out there uh, now. First uh, two kilometer uh, run to the park, an easy warm up. From there uh, we start uh, the long run uh, properly. Okay, my warm up is uh, finished. I'll talk you through uh, my nutrition and then uh, I'll start uh, the long run. I'll do 5k uh, and uh, 7k uh, around uh, 3.45, so zone 2 uh, for me. Some other tempo in there uh, as well. After halfway, um, yeah, to get some slight tempo in there and uh, also uh, to make the long run a bit uh, faster uh, instead of uh, longer. I always practice with my nutrition as well in the long run uh, because nutrition is of course an important aspect in the marathon. I'll show you what I have. For today just uh, two gels, a caffeine gel and the other one is a regular gel. And in my bottle uh, there's a uh, carb mix uh, to uh, fuel me uh, as well during this uh, long run. Let's uh, get the show on the road. In the park there are these roads designed and meant only for runners. Really nice if you like to run of course. I'm halfway uh, in the run. I'm gonna take a gel uh, now. Like I mentioned in other videos as well. Uh, if you're a marathoner you need to train with your uh, nutrition. Uh, and so uh, yeah, always uh, on the long runs I take uh, gels, sometimes some carb mix as well. Just to uh, get the stomach used to uh, uh, the nutrition. Long run done, uh, or almost done. I need to go back to the apartment one and a half K. Uh, tempos feel felt decent. They're quite moderate, uh, not very hard. It started to get uh, a little bit warm. Um, this long run, nothing special. Time to head back to the apartment. Here we're back again. Uh, here you see the data of the, the long run. It was just over uh, two hours, 29.7 uh, kilometers. And here on the left you see my 5 and 7 kilometer uh, tempo effort uh, around 340 to 345 per kilometer really moderate uh, and not too hard uh, tempo for me um, let's now go over uh, the disadvantages of a very long or hard long run and also over the advantages of a bit of a shorter long run i have two main concerns or two main uh, disadvantages that i want to put uh, out there for a long run that is too long for your uh, experience level. First, uh, the, the higher fatigue uh, accumulation or longer recovery time. Uh, when your long run is above uh, this two and a half hour uh, barrier, you uh, might uh, need longer recovery time uh, than just uh, one afternoon or one day uh, because uh, of all the muscle damage and the glycogen stores that need to be uh, refilled. And this also hurts uh, your consistency for the next week or might harm your consistency in the next week and the quality of training in the next week. And the second concern I have uh, with a very far long run is that it also increases your, uh, your injury uh, risk because it's quite demanding on your uh, tendons and ligaments uh, as well from underpowering on the, on the pavement.
The repetitive impact can lead to overuse injuries like shin splints, tendonitis, or stress fractures. So a shorter long run, right, uh, really benefits your consistency week in, week out. And does a long run with uh, 30 to 45 minutes extra in the end uh, gives you more benefit than risk uh, for the consistency uh, in the end. So now looking at the benefits of a shorter uh, long run. Uh, first, uh, the quality of your long run might uh, become uh, better when it's a bit shorter. You might be able to hold the pace and also your running form uh, better in a shorter uh, long run. You can integrate some zone 2 or zone 3 efforts to make it more challenging and still train the aerobic capacity, maybe even more efficiently than only an easy long run. A second, targeting enough race pace specific workouts and enough uh, race pace volume and also enough weekly volume in general uh, are better indicators in my opinion for a good half marathon or marathon race time uh, than only uh, the hard long run or longer uh, uh, long run. Uh, let's now zoom in how to uh, vary uh, your long runs uh, based on tempo instead of uh, length. In another video which I made I explained more in depth how to use some tempo efforts into your long run. See the end of this video for the link. This makes your long run also more fun and challenging in my opinion. You can for example do 3 times 10 to 15 minutes just below your marathon uh, pace. Uh, to uh, make it also more race pace uh, specific and a little bit harder. Uh, you do, don't need to do this every long run, of course. If you uh, do this uh, bi-weekly, for example, uh, could be a good uh, option. So let's talk a bit about what experience level matches what length uh, or duration of the long run. In my opinion, uh, not at any level, uh, you should uh, cross the two and a half hour uh, barrier. I see quite some uh, amateur runners run over three hours uh, just to cover the distance uh, close to a uh, marathon uh, distance, for example, to be better uh, prepared. Um, however, if you look at uh, the pros, for example. Looking at the pros, they like to make the long run more specific towards the marathon with tempo or race pace specific paces in them. Pro marathoners like Phil Sessman, Hendrik Pfeiffer, Runner Habs, Clayton Young, Connor Metz, Amino Petras, Yemen Kripa, all do not go over two and a half hours. And fellow fast YouTubers like Philip Bowden and Nick Bester also usually don't cross the two and a half hours for the long run. I hope I proved my point of the two and a half hour uh, boundary for your long run uh, here. Um, and now let's have a few or short guide uh, on how uh, long your long run should be based on your experience level. For uh, a beginner, or an uh, amateur level runner uh, focusing more on 10k's and half marathons I would suggest you run 70 to 90 minutes in your long run. Uh, why this uh, duration? Because uh, it still stimulates uh, your aerobic capacity and trains your aerobic capacity uh, in a good way without uh, the risk of uh, a lot of uh, fatigue or injury. For intermediate level runners who already have quite some uh, experience and run several times uh, a week, who we'll focus on a uh, half marathon or further, I would suggest to run between 100 uh, minutes and 2 hours. Uh, this could still be uh, challenging enough to train your uh, aerobic base uh, capacity or should be challenging enough. For runners who want to break a sub 3 hour marathon or sub 1 hour and 25 minutes on the half, for advanced runners with quite a high weekly uh, volume who target the marathon below 2 hours and 45 minutes. For example, I would suggest to run uh, between 2 hours and 2.5 and hours in your long run uh, because you are more experienced and used to uh, running quite a high uh, volume. You might uh, be able to, uh, to complete a good 2.5 hour long run without too much uh, fatigue. Still find the improvements of uh, building your uh, aerobic uh, capacity. So that's why uh, I think uh, for experienced runners should aim for two to two and a half hours. So to conclude, a long run should uh, definitely uh, aim to increase your aerobic capacity or your endurance uh, without uh, too much over fatigue or uh, injury risk. They need to find uh, a balance. Instead of increasing the length of your long run, you can play a little bit uh, with the tempo uh, instead uh, in your long run to make it more fun and challenging and also uh, pay attention what your goal is, your experience level, uh, to match uh, the duration of your long run uh, as well. I hope this video gave you some uh, good insights in how I uh, think you should tackle uh, the long run. 
If you have any questions, uh, please uh, drop them uh, below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you want to follow more uh, interesting content uh, about my training and running. And as always, if you still got it today, have fun and get on the run.